Hello, this is a video on how to play uh, Cruel Solitaire. Uh, now, Cruel Solitaire has an interesting origin story. Um, it was actually in invented by Microsoft in the earliest versions of Windows. And so it's a game invented by the company itself uh, to sort of help promote, I guess, their new computer. And so now we'll be going through how to play. Um, it's very simple. And so what's your goal? Well, your goal is to obviously win. Um, it is a single player game. Uh, you'll need a standard 52 card deck. And so the objective of the game is to move all the cards to the foundation. The foundation is the uh, four piles in the top right corner. So this is a foundation pile for clubs, the foundation pile for diamonds, the foundation pile for hearts, and then the, and then the foundation pile for spades. Um, do note that each foundation starts with an ace, um, and then you place cards of the same suit in ascending order. So you would be ace, two, three, four, all the way up to ten, jack, queen, and king. And so here we would go ace of clubs, two clubs, three of clubs, four of clubs, all the way up to king of clubs. Uh, so that's the basic objective. You want to get all the cards um, in the foundation piles um, in increasing order. Uh, cards are shuffled and dealt face up on the tableau. Uh, the tableau um, is a, a set of 12 piles here. And so what you'll do is you'll first place your four aces here um, in four separate piles off to the side. Then you'll deal the remainder of your cards in tableaus. And so do note that you have 12 tableaus and um, if you place your four aces that would leave you with 48 cards left, right? And so 48 divided by 12 is 4. And so essentially what you want to do is you want to make 12 piles of 4 cards, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with 4 cards in each pile. That is your entire deck dealt there. And so right now it's it's pretty straightforward. It seems pretty easy because it is pretty easy. Um, what you'll have to do is um, remember you place the aces already, right? The aces are played before you even placed before you even start uh, doing anything else in the game. And so do note that um, only the top card from uh, the tableau. The tableau. When I refer to the tableau, I mean the twelve piles here. Only the top card from any of the twelve piles can be moved to another pile. And so you can move the top card from one pile to another pile in the tableau. Um, uh, in uh, uh, in the top card of the same suit in descending order. And so what that would basically mean is that if I have a and I don't actually have this here and so it's quite hard to do, I do. And so what can you do? How can you move cards? Well, alright, so first of all let's just sum up what we know so far. What we know is that uh, you'll start out with your four foundation piles and then you'll make 12 piles of four cards each. You can move cards from these 12 piles uh, directly onto the foundation pile. So we'll do that with the two of, um, we'll do that with the two of diamonds. And so that's what we did, right? So what will we do? Um, what we'll do is, um, so you can either do that, right? You can move. Um, a card onto the foundation pile of the same suit in ascending order, or you can move a card um, onto another tableau pile of descending order. Um, and so we're actually going to go ahead and do that there. And notice what I just did, right? I can't undo that, but right, if I lift this three, I took this three and I moved it. So you can move a card between the tableaus or the foundation piles um, if it is uh, one rank lower in the same suit. To move cards in between piles, that must be in the same suit, right? Notice how this two is one rank lower, but it's not in the same suit, and so I cannot move it. It has to be one rank lower and in the same suit. In contrast, when you're moving to the foundation pile, it has to be one rank higher and of the same suit. And so now you might be saying, okay, that's great. What do we do from here? Well, from here, we just try to make as many moves as we can. And so let's see, are there any moves we can really make here? Do we have any similar suited cards? Not really. We do have this three of diamonds here that we could put, as well as the four of diamonds. Um, but what can we do from there? Well, we can take this five. Since it is one rank uh, lower and of the same suit, we can move it, right? So if you want to move it in uh, between piles, it has to be one rank 
uh, lower and of the same suit. If you want to move to the foundation pile, it should be one rank higher and of the same suit. Notice how three is one rank higher than two and of the same suit, so I can place it there. Um, what we'll do here is we'll move this uh, four of clovers here. Uh, one rank lower and of the same suit, right? So we place the four of clovers on the five of clovers. Then we'll move this two of So how do you win and lose? Well, that's the last thing we sort of have to talk about here. You win when you get all the cards uh, from the bottom here into the uh, foundation piles, right? And, and that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty simple. Uh, but how do you lose? You lose... Um, when you re-deal these cards, and so basically what happens is uh, you pick up the cards in the tableau, uh, you do not shuffle them. And I might have said shuffle, uh, but I, what I meant was you pick them up, right? You just stack them, normally pick them up, don't shuffle, and you just simply put them back down in piles of four again. And if you do that, and you still have no moves, so after, that's called a re-deal. And if you have no moves after a re-deal, um... Then, then your game is over. You cannot do two successive redeals without without at least one move in between. And so if you redeal, you make a move, and then you have no moves left, and then you redeal, that's fine. But if you redeal, and you have no moves left, you can't just redeal again. You lose the game. So if you redeal, and you have no moves left even after you redeal, right? So you make piles of four for each, uh, I guess, uh, you make as many piles of four as you can, which is redealing, and you still have no moves, then you have lost the game. So that wraps up how to play. It's pretty simple. And what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to keep playing here just to show you sort of how to really play here. And so is there any move we could really make that's valid here? Well, we can do this jack. We can actually take that queen. But I can see the card underneath. So what I'm going to do here is... Move that, and then move that. That'll allow me to get this two. Allowing you to place a five of hearts. Then I can place these six of hearts. And I'm actually somewhat good at this. Which is surprising. And I think I might have just jinxed myself there. Um, but let's keep going here. Uh, we do have a four of clovers. But we don't have our three of clovers. We have our nine of spades. We can move that right there. And get our... Oh, yeah. Move that right there. Right, one lower and of the same suit. Do note that you cannot do anything with these empty piles unless you redeal. And so, unlike with other solitaire games, empty piles stay empty. Now, is there any move we can make? Um, not that I know of. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, move that there. And we're left with a seven of diamonds, which is doesn't do us. Um much in terms of being able to play um that's really it so what we're going to do here is we're going to redeal note now there's an x there you cannot do two successive redeals there must be at least one move in between and so if you redeal and you have no moves left then you have lost right Redealing is not shuffling, it's picking up all the cards in the tableau and placing them back down in piles of four, but not shuffling them. So how do you win? You get all the cards in the foundation piles, you lose when you have redeal, um, just like we just did, and you have no moves left. Uh, remember, you place cards in piles of four, you get all the aces there, you move cards from the tableau to the foundation piles uh, when they're ascending in rank and of the same suit, you move cards between tableaus when they're descending in rank and of the same suit. So what can we do here? Well, we have to be sort of strategic here. Uh, we do have quite a bad hand, uh, which is unfortunate. Right now I can re-deal. Re you can re-deal after you make a move, but you cannot do two successive re-deals. Um, queen. We have a six of diamonds, but that doesn't do us much. That does not do us much. Uh, we also have this eight of spades, and so this is sort of a bit of a predicament here. And uh, do not believe that there's anything we can actually do, which is unfortunate because it means we will redeal again. Play, pick up all the cards, and place them back down again. Note that this doesn't really change many of the top cards. So now we have a final valid move. We can make five of diamonds, six of diamonds. Do we have a seven of diamonds? No, we can take this. Um, ten. 
Ah. Oh. No. No, why does this happen again? I do. We have a three of clubs right there. Yes, 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 yes. Now we have. So you can sort of see me play. Seven of spades. We can place right there. Um, a jack. That gives us an eight of clovers. That's not beneficial. Nine of spades, not beneficial. Ten of clovers, not beneficial. Nine of clover, a nine of hearts. Eight of diamonds, ten of diamonds. Nope. So we'll redeal. We are getting a somewhat decent hand here. Beautiful there with the spades. Uh, get that jack there, get that queen there. Uh, now what else is there to do here? Not much. We cannot really make any other move here. Um, and so once again, we'll redeal, picking up all the cards, right? That doesn't change many of the top cards, right? You just pick up all the cards, place them back down. And it'll, it'll change some of them because you do, uh, again, gather them into piles of four, but it doesn't change too many. So we'll place our four of clovers, then our five of clovers, then our six of clovers, seven of clovers, eight of clovers. Now, what can we do? We can take this uh, 10 of diamonds. Place it on the jacket. Actually, let's just place that seven of diamonds there. And the ten of diamonds. Um, on our hearts. Place down the seven of hearts. We have the nine of diamonds. That gives us the eight of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. Jack of diamonds. Queen of diamonds. King of diamonds. Eight. 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. And so it sort of works out as you can see. So we won, right? Um, and so that wraps up how to play uh, Cruel Solitaire. Um, it's a simpler solitaire game. Uh, compared to the other solitaires, really. Um, and it has a nice origin story to it, right? And all you need is a standard 52-card deck, and that's the beauty of it. Just look at how many games you can play with a standard 52-card deck. With one a sing with a singular standard 52-card deck, you can honestly play games for days. You could play a different game each new, each new time you play, and you'd have games to play for days. And that's that's the fascinating part of it, right? Card games represent creativity, right? It's a standard 52 uh, card deck, and yet people are still finding ways to come up with these nice intuitive games. So that wraps up how to play Cruel Solitaire. Um, the name is ironic in that I do find that this is a not this is not a cruel game. It's actually quite fun to play, and I highly recommend you play it. And uh, thank you for watching.